Through these unprecedented times in our world, Duke students have done their best to stay focused and dedicated to their studies and activities throughout the year. Michael is one of these students, and all year he has managed a tough schedule and stayed on top of his schoolwork, while also being a member of the Duke men's basketball program. The year hasn't been easy for him and the rest of the team, as we had to live in the Washington Duke Hotel the entire year, but he did his best to make his room feel a bit more like home. Michael had a busy schedule every day. He would do all of his classes in the morning and then get ready for the day, which included getting all of his gear for practice and choosing from one of his many pairs of shoes. He would then drive over to basketball practice at Cameron Indoor Stadium for the afternoon. Practice was one of Michael's favorite parts of the day because he loves to work on his game as much as he can. At all practices, on top of the work we would do as a team, we also get to work on our individual skills. As a point guard, two aspects of his game that he works on a lot are dribbling and shooting. Practice and the individual work after practice lasted for about three and a half hours every day. When practice ended, Michael and the rest of the team went to our meal room that is right next to our locker room, where we got a buffet-style food, a meal catered for us twice a day. We all enjoy our meals after a long day and a long practice, and for Michael, he says, this time when we have our meals is a good time for him to relax and enjoy his teammates' company. The meal room is equipped with many things we can use, like a ping pong table and a gaming system. And Michael usually found himself using a mini basketball hoop. After practice and after his meal, he would come back to the hotel to have a relaxing night. Just like most of the guys on the team, watching other basketball games before bed was part of his nightly routine. As we got closer to the conference tournament, he would watch games and catch up on news or scouting of our opponents to stay prepared. When the postseason and the ACC tournament came around, Michael and the team were ready to make a run and win championships, just like the teams before us had done. However, right as the tournament began, disaster struck and our team was forced to withdraw as we faced COVID complications. We were all confined to our rooms and required to quarantine there for two weeks. This complication basically put an immediate halt on the year as the basketball season ended suddenly and I was forced to adapt to different circumstances for my classes. It was a repetitive two weeks of ordering meals from the roofers menu that were dropped off at the door because I was not able to leave my room at all, even to get food. The two weeks were very long and somewhat lonely and it was hard to find ways to entertain myself as I waited to be released to finally be able to go home. Eventually, I was able to leave and head home and it was a relief to leave the confinement and be able to see my family after a long season and a long year. While I wasn't able to see Michael and record his time during quarantine or at home, I enjoyed being able to photograph my own family and hang out with them. I also really enjoyed photographing and spending time with my two dogs, Winter and Felix, who were always energetic. Eventually, Michael and everyone else returned to school and went back to live in the hotel for the last few weeks. He went back to working out and practicing with the rest of the team, and the mood felt a little bit lighter as the semester came to an end. Overall, we all were happy to be able to hang out together to finish the year. We joked around a lot and had a, a lot of fun as the mood felt lighter after having some time off to relax. One of the funniest moments came when Michael had to cover up his locker with tape because people kept jokingly taking his gear from him. As Michael looked back on the year, he says that although it wasn't the year he expected, it allowed him to learn a lot and grow as a person, and he felt honored and privileged to be able to represent Duke and Duke basketball. He explains that he is ready to get back to work next year for hopefully a more normal school year and basketball season.